We're in the Bay Area here inside the Shark Tank in San Jose, and the deal is real. Both teams seem ready, and they're about to drop the puck on this opening face-off. The Sharks take possession to get this one underway. Along the half wall with the puck, and they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Steele. Centering feed! And that's stopped! He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Great reach with the poke check. Angles it over to Declare. Here's a shot! Denies him! And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the call is. The Bruins will serve two minutes in the box. The first penalty kill of the game for this group here, and we know their penalty kills rank toward the bottom of the league, but this group's got a lot of confidence, a lot of energy. They just might be able to shut down this power play unit. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Tube. And that's knocked away by Zetterlin. They score! The go-ahead goal comes shorthanded! Well, um, this is why you play the game, James. This is not how it's supposed to happen. This is a real deflator for the power play unit. Now they've got some work to do, but man, the other side, there's a ton of momentum going now. I don't mind the shot at all, James. I, I think he had good recognition of where the goaltender was in the net, not sealed to the post, and he just throws it to the net from below the goal line and gets rewarded for it. It's unexpected, but it does the job. The Bruins couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight as they are on the board still early in the first. Yeah, they get their legs underneath them right from the opening faceoff. They get multiple lines into the game, and they just kept building momentum, and they're rewarded with that first goal of the game. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Let's get the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Takes possession. Here's a shot. Nice stop by the goaltender. Booty's got it in the defensive end. The Sharks going to work on offense. Hooked away by Carter. Oh, slick work with the glove by Knight. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the spot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Bodie is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Here's a short pass to her. Great defensive effort with the stick. And manages to clear the zone. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great feed from the left side. And now it's grabbed by Sederlin. And it's a quick pass to her. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Denies that opportunity. Poked away in the neutral zone. Toropchenko stick handling in his own zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Eklund. With possession along the wall. Takes a shot, and that's broken up. Knight's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Kiki's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Chatfield's penalty is almost expired. Disappointing power play effort as they serve up a shorthanded goal, but both teams down back to even strength. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Centering feed. Couldn't complete the pass. San Jose is looking to break out. Moves it to Couture. Oh, just wide. And he works so hard to get to the middle of the ice and to get that scoring chance, and he just blows it wide. Here he is with the backhander. Made the stop on the play. 
Shooters are so strong today on that cross crease pass. You got to be able to read, anticipate that it's coming, and he does it perfectly. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. When you think about the PK, you can say power kill because of him. He had that earlier shorthanded goal, but now his team's got to play without him and try and kill the penalty off. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Knocked around, but keeps it going. And now he moves it quickly to Olivier. On the attack along the boards. And the puck leaves the zone. McAvoy's taking it from his own end. Puck scooped up by Carlo. Takes the feed. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Penalty coming up as the play is going dead. McAvoy's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Soros gives his team the confidence to make creative plays, knowing he can bail them out if needed. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Boston's won the draw. The Bruins will take it behind the net. Pasternak's got control of the puck in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Geeky's ready to take the draw here on this power play. San Jose's got possession here in their own end. Ten more seconds. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. The Bruins look to start the transition game. The man advantage is over. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK. You would just stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Feeds it on over to Declare. The Bruins have it from their own end. Sends the pass over. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Sharks take it along the wing. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Here we go, on man rush here. And the puck skips away after that move. Oh, what a save by Knight. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Toss up the puck after that hit. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's up one zip. The Bruins win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a chance to the middle. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Duchesne's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. San Jose's on the attack. The Bruins have it against the wall. Lindholm's lugging the puck. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Nothing! Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Gains the zone on the left wing. Everly's coming against the boards. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Moves inside. Big time stop. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Under siege and five. Boston's won the 
face off deep in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Sends it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Look at this, two on one. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game, and we'll be back for more. Both teams seem to be recharged, and play is underway here in period number two. Well, we've seen a pretty good pass. Striving right to the net, puts it in. Oh, I love this power move, James. Shielding the puck, and that is the key. Shielding it and taking away the space and behind the defender, not letting them back in, and then finishing it off. Great move all the way around. Just an incredible finish on a power drive here, James, as he lowers the boom, puts out his leg, and doesn't allow his opponent back in. That's what you call fighting for your space and keeping it. San Jose's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. And he takes the feed. Hurdle's been great tonight, James. He already has a goal in the game, but now the score is tied, and that's when your best players come out to play. I can expect... Scores! There's 20 on the year for the rookie! Uh, what I love about this game, James, is he's not afraid to shoot the puck. He's not tentative or he's not hesitant, and often rookies, they display those tendencies. He's playing like a seasoned vet. Well, you create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. The Bruins are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Shot! Oh, bro! What a blocker save! Here he is on the backhand! Taken along the wall by Torchenko. Oh! What a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Picked up along the boards by Borgen. Saros is dialed in. There's no question about it after that last save. I mean, to find that puck and desperation and have athleticism to be able to get to it, I don't even know how he got to that puck. Saves it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Picked up along the wall by Dubé. Let's go! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. Well, these below the goal line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned puck focused, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. Boston's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Hurdles, one possession. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Now a quick pass to Kiki. And he takes the dish. Shot. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Boston's got the puck. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. The Sharks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Dubé's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is, and everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. 
They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. Directed over to McKenna. Moves it around along the half wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. And a stiff break setup. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. McAvoy's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Boston's got it now. Taken by McKenna. Quick feed to Saka. Right in the low slot. Easily turned aside with a pad save. Duchesne side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Quick feed down low. Passes out front. And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. Oh, and a great hits up play to force the turnover by Zaka. Centering feed. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Works it across to Pasternak. Grabbed along the board by Zaka. Oh, and he whiffs. The Sharks kill off the penalty. All alone! Mason scores! And they tuck it into the back of the on there, James. I think they wave this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. at the point. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Cormier's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Barry. And he takes the pass. Shot from the wall. Turns aside the slap shot. Wow. And does it again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. And now he passes up to Foody. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Passes it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! This is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. The Bruins still have a lot of time left in this game to even make this even more lopsided, but Cheryl, late here in the second, they are dominant. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that you start with the adrenaline running, you got the competitive juices flowing, and there is no lag in their play. It has been a consistent effort, and they simply have lit their opponent on fire. Marchenko's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, a good heads-up play with the poke check. Saros makes a nice save right there, and he's got to utilize that and gain some confidence off it. I mean, he's had struggled tonight between the pipes. If he can reset and create some momentum for his team, they can claw their way back into this game. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too! That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Sends the feet in front, and that's stopped. Looks to set up along the point. Handles the puck. Makes a move in front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? They are really pouring on the pressure here. Oh, what a hit there. There's a collision. 
collision. From off the wall and onto a stick. Here's a chance. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. just yet, not by a long shot, but at least they've made it a game, Cheryl. They've made it a game, and they aren't out of the woods, but they can figure out a way to get out of them, and that's one shift at a time, and they can start right there with a goal. Moves it to Savita. Oh, he caught all of that. What a save by Knight. Torchenko's moving the puck through his own zone. Great pass from off the right side. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. The Bruins carried along the wall. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Sends it in deep. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Looks to pass it to Carlo. Shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Sharks are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind and during the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on their stick, which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. To the front! Here's a chance! Denies them in close. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Duclair's got the puck. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Takes a shot. What a block as he lays out, and I'm sure he'll feel that one. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Shot, and he gets in front of that. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Boston's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Takes it from the right side. Denies him with the pad. Slides the puck across to Saka. Quick feed to Pasternak. It's to the middle, and that chance is blocked. Tosses it to Declare. And that's broken up. McAvoy got it in the defensive zone. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Takes the feed from the left side. San Jose's got possession of the puck. Dumps it into the ozone. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puck grab by Kulikov. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Sedina's got it across the line. Fires it. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Scooped up along the wall by Marchenko. The Bruins are firing on all cylinders, in particular their second line. They've had a lot of mojo going for them tonight. They found the back of the net. They've been key contributors. And the reason why they're leading in this game. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Zetterlin's so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes symbol is the best way to go. The Jets are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Kulak. Moves the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Turns it aside with the glove. 
The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Keeps it alive and heads it up. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets a piece of it with a glove. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. The Sharks played along the boards. Here's a chance. And he was ready for that one. Quick pass to McKenna. James, I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. More than half the period has expired. Boston's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Puck picked up by Barry. And that's taken by the defense. The Bruins will play from the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Torpchenko. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to McKenna. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench. Scrum along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Steele. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. A lot of people were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carla Bates standing by with her answer. McAvoy's been engaged and was able to jump in on the offense, guys. I've really liked his game tonight, so I'm going to give him the edge here. The Bruins have it now. From the slot, a shot. Right in the bread basket for the save. Ready for the draw on this man advantage. Boston's got it and they're on the attack. A chance in front and it's blocked. San Jose's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. The Sharks take it across the blue line. Where's it on net? Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. San Jose has been strong offensively throughout this game, just haven't been rewarded. They've had a ton of scoring chances, but a missed shot trailing in the third period. You've got to find the net, and that's something they need to do better if they want to convert. Sends a pass over. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it. And here we go, two on one. Slides it across. And they fail to capitalize on the play. Moves it to Quinn. And that's poked away by Duchesne. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Saros. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. With a comfortable lead, James. Some... He's got a step. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. It winds up in the back of the net. 
success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. The Bruins start with the puck in the road end. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Break away! Anticipate and get across to make that save. And the fans clearly not happy with what they've seen tonight as the final few seconds tick away. They are letting this team have it. With a comfortable lead late in the third and you take a penalty. Listen, I've seen a ton of things happen in the game, but it's pretty inconsequential at this time. Slides the puck down low. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. An emphatic win, and we can put that W as a capital. Well, it's almost as if their opponent were defeated before the game started. I mean, you can see it in the warm-up, just in their body language, playing a team that's on a winning streak, playing with a ton of confidence.